Note three, we have two forms of equations. We have the slope intercept form, standard form. We need to pull out the pertinent information. I need a nice starting point here. If I, because this is slope intercept form, if I put a zero in for x, I get negative one out for y. My slope is right there. There's no change in it. It's slope intercept form, so the slope is 2 thirds. Let's go ahead and graph that. I look to my graph. It tells me to start at negative one, and I follow the slope. The slope is telling me to go up two, right three, up two, right three, up two, right three, Kick it in reverse, I can go down two, left three, down two, left three, down two, left three. I want to connect the points. As I connect all those points, it produces this nice line for me. And then I need to move to the second equation. See how that line's going to graph. So I come up here, I recognize that it's in standard form. For standard form, I can get the slope by taking A over B and changing the sign. So the slope is going to be 2 over 1. Because there's a plus in this, I'm going to make the slope negative. I need to find a nice point. And I can easily throw a 0 in for x, get a value out for y. But I want to show an alternate way of doing this. You may run into a couple problems where when you plug the 0 in for x, you don't get a nice answer. You plug zero in for y, you don't get a nice answer. You may have to think about how you could create nice points. And here's a nice one to start off with. When I look at this, again, I know I can plug zero in for x and get seven out for y. I'm just showing an alternate way of doing this. I want to think about an even number plus an odd number to create seven. As I think about that for a moment, I think that six plus one would give me seven. And so to get a nice point, I simply ask, two times what creates six? And I could write three, because two times three is six. Plus, well in this case it would just be the one, plus one produces seven. So I can say two times three is six, plus one gives me seven. You may have to use that technique every once in a while in your homework. Now once I find a nice point, I just locate that. We said that was going to be three, one, that happens to be my point of intersection, which could happen. I follow my slope, which is down two, right one. I don't have to put very many of these on here because I already found my point of intersection. And we'll go the opposite direction, which is up two, left one. That should be enough. I was fortunate in that my very first point was the point of intersection. Three, one is what we were looking for. There's example number three in our notes.